Germany is a country with over 80 million people known for its beers and fast cars. But let's not forget their amazing soccer skills. We are in Aachen, a city in the west part of Germany with 280,000 people. It's known for its hot springs and the most famous horse tournament in the world. It's called Chio. This is Mrs. Schreiber, mother of three and fabulous cook. We started by shopping for some veggies at their local food market and she announces what we'll be cooking. Um, we make um, the veal mm -hmm. with mushrooms in it. For a country market, I was very impressed with the variety of choices, especially of German bread. Mm -mm -mm. But let's not leave out the variety of local cold cuts and cheeses. Not to mention their sausages, pork, chicken, beef, and other meat products. I realize I'll probably faint until we start eating. It might be way too long until then. But that's my sacrifice to you. Then we go to their local butcher shop. Okay. Um, here's yeah. the pie okay. Thanks. Danke. I think we're gonna eat oh, something really, really good. good. <laughs> We'll learn how to cook Kaujen Senzebel's Mitzhaun Champignon, also known as veal, and some side dishes like German potatoes, broccoli, and carrots. First, we start with two and a half pounds of meat. Then we go get fresh herbs from her garden. We'll use carrots, broccoli, onions, mushrooms, and potatoes. Yeah. You were just gonna peel it? Be gentle. No. Yes. Like this. You're fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's peeling five potatoes while I'm still peeling one of them. <laughs> we put the peeled potatoes on water so they don't become brown. And next are the carrots. Okay. And that's half a pound of carrots. We peel the carrots and chop them. These are um, finger carrots. Oh, okay. Finger That's carrots. Side uh, of carrots. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And now I cut them. Only a mom can cut vegetables that fast. Next is the broccoli. We only need the broccoli flowers. And then comes the butcher onions. They call them butcher because they're so fat. <laughs> Finally are the mushrooms. Note to self, don't wash the mushrooms, just clean them with a knife so they don't become soggy. Oh, I love to watch people cook and try some bites when they're not watching. Now it's time to cook the veal in small pieces and don't worry if you can't do it that fast. I would probably take even longer than you. Then we go get the fresh herbs. Chop some parsley, rosemary and thyme. These German potatoes are gorgeous. We add a tiny bit of sugar to bring the flavor out and let them boil. Then we heat a pan with some olive oil. Just make sure that the oil is hot and you can test it by using one piece of meat. 
Once the temperature is right, you can cook the rest of the meat, stirring occasionally until it turns golden brown. In another pan, heat some olive oil and throw in the chopped carrots. A little bit of sugar, salt, and pepper. <sighs> I am drooling. And we'll add some parsley for decoration. Using the same pan, we'll add the broccoli with a couple of cups of water, a tablespoon of salt, and let it cook until tender. While the broccoli is cooking, we'll season the veal with pepper. And paprika. Add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Mix it well and remove from the pan. I love my job. Use the same pan to saute your onion with olive oil until they turn brown. Add the chopped mushrooms, season with salt, pepper, and the chopped herbs to taste. Add the meat back to the pan, German white wine, and now my favorite part, the sour cream. Once the broccoli is tender, it's ready to serve. We add heavy cream to the meat. Check the potatoes, drain the water, and put it aside. Now I am really about to faint and want to take this whole pot outside and eat it all by myself without a napkin. But before I do that, there is one more step. We add a tablespoon of cornmeal to thicken the sauce. Good meals are always appreciated by admirers or beggars. Now it's finally time to eat with the family. Thank you so much, Margot. This is an amazing dish. It was really hard to watch her cook for the last couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot wait to try it. Let's get started. Oh, yes, yeah. Happy it's good. Good appetit. appetit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I liked it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> If you're fortunate enough to go to Germany, this is the kind of food you can expect. But until then, you cook it at home. Thank you, Mrs. Schreiber. If you were my mom, I'd be the happiest kid in town.